Hey everybody, this is David Homestead Hacks. What I got going on today is I got my new incubator in the mail. It's a uh, it's constructed of mostly plastic. It looks like it's a decent incubator. It's I paid around I think around eighty nine dollars for it plus tax and everything is right around a hundred dollars. And I got the incubator set inside. And what we're gonna do we're gonna start a series on raising quail. And I'm going to start them off, of course, from eggs. We're hatching from, from eggs. There's my cat, Doggo. My daughter named him Doggo. What a name. We've had him about going on two years now, anyway. But anyway, that's one of our inside cats. But in this very bottom, you'll see these trays. Well, that's you fill these up with water. I've hatched, I've hatched a lot of birds in my life, a lot of chickens, quails, pheasants. Uh, everything but geese and ducks I've not hatched. But what you do, you, you put water in this for humidity, to, to give it humidity. So what we do is go ahead and fill these little trays with water. And it's taking more water than I, than I thought, but that's okay. Here's my other cat, Ginger. He's being nosy. Wants to know what's going on, what I'm doing. So there's the water. So then we'll put it back together. Okay, here's my quail eggs. A friend of mine at work, his uh, brother-in-law raises quail. And this is what he collected over two days. So he's got quite a few eggs. And what we do, you always put eggs in the incubator with the the small end down always and they'll go right in there like that in the turner and you know quail eggs if you ever seen quail eggs they're always speckled up like that so what I'll do I'll go down through there and I'll, I'll get all my quail eggs in what I did I just evened them out I just put four per row because I have another row with a turner on it so this is two section incubator so I got one two three four five six seven twenty eight here and there's about that many that'll go on top that way it'll be pretty even and then let me get the rest of it put together okay got all the eggs in got the water in end up being I think 54 and three of the eggs had cracks and breaks on them. that was no good so what we'll do turn the power on and this is set in Celsius, and I couldn't find any way that you can convert it and, and change it to Fahrenheit. So, at 30, 38 degrees Celsius, it comes to like a little over 100 degrees, 100 point something degrees. And so, that's your temperature. That's your humidity right there. This is the days shown in the incubator. It'll uh, it'll count every day that it's that it's been in there, and this is the egg timer. This will turn the eggs. So every time it's set for two hours, so every time two hours rolls over, the eggs will will uh, turn. Maybe see if we can turn them here, because there's a button here that you can push to reset it. And let's see if we can see them turning. I think it's this one right here. You can hear it right there you can see them turning see that roll over to that side so so every every two hours it it, it turns the eggs which is really good that's that's good maybe hit it one more time here to see where you can sit down here at the bottom make sure both of them are working okay Top and bottom both are working. Seems like a pretty nice incubator. Uh, it, it holds quite a few eggs. I think this one holds... This one holds 98 eggs, I believe. So that's quite a few. That's a lot of eggs. 
you just got to make sure everything's in place. Make sure everything is. Uh, it's got two fans. It's got one on top. It's got one on the bottom. And you got to make sure that it's in place and not uh, leaned over where it's in track good. So it's ready to go. Um, I still haven't looked for sure. And I will here in a little bit and see how long it takes to hatch quail eggs. Uh, somewhere between 16 and 20 days. It depends on your heat because if, if your heat's running high, you're going to hatch them off early. If it's running low, it's going to take a little bit longer. That's how any eggs are. You can, in, in, uh, if you're running way on the hot side, like you, when I raised, when I hatched chickens, you'd always run between 98 and 101. That's, that's where the range I would always try to keep. So I always try to put it right in the middle, right at 100, 100.5, something like that. So this temperature is coming up and we'll just keep an eye on it and see how it does. Okay, 16 days later, well, today is actually the 17th day, but on day 16, they started hatching. Um, I don't know how well my success rate will be. Uh, so far, we've only got six, and there was about 50-some eggs, I believe. Uh, I'll leave them in the incubator, continue to leave them in there, but I'm going to take these six babies here, six baby quail, and i got the brooder set up and ready to go for them. And we'll just just wait and see and see if these other ones hatch or not. I don't know. Uh, it, it was a new incubator, so I don't know how well, you know, the accuracy of it was. Uh, it looked like it was maintaining good temperature, good humidity and everything. So it's it's a possibility that uh, the, the upper chamber and the lower chamber may have been a little bit different in temperature and humidity. So it may delay it a day or two. So... I'll just wait and see, but for right now, I'm just going to take these six and put them down in the brooder and see how they do. Okay, here is the end result of the quail hatch. Now, I had 50-some eggs in there, and total hatching out was six eggs. That was very, very bad results. Now, there's, there's a lot that plays into that, and I'm going to give it another try, and I'm pretty positive of what happened uh i had my incubator on order and i was waiting on it and the eggs were stacked on top of each other in a like a strawberry container so they didn't get the best care and because when, when i bought them from the, the the guy i bought them from or he actually donated them he didn't uh sell them to him he gave me these this first run i just had paid him for some more and I'm gonna get double the amount. I'm gonna try it again, but this time they'll go immediately in the incubator. Uh, we have six very healthy quail. They look very good. Here's a little brooder I got set up for them. Uh, they look really good. They're really fast. They're about two days old now. I do have the other eggs in the incubator just to make sure that, that there wasn't a temperature variation between the top and bottom, bottom chamber because for each degree can delay the hatch by one day. So I'm just gonna make sure I'm gonna give them for about three more days and then I'll pull them out and throw them away what's left. And then by next week, uh, my friend at work, Moises, will, uh, he'll bring my, my eggs. His, uh, I think it's his, uh, he said his, his brother-in-law raises a lot of quail. And uh, that's where I'm getting them from. So I'm going to try it again. We'll see if we can get better results. You, you should get at least 70% hatch. Now, it, it's always, it could be a lot of variations. Uh, if the possibility, like I said, of the eggs being too old, maybe I let them set because they had to set for about a week, which is not bad. But those eggs need to be turned every day, even when they're setting. And since they was in the containers uh, stacked on top of each other, all you could do was just flip it from side to side. So that, that it wasn't a, the best conditions. So this time they'll go directly in the incubator and we'll see how they do. I ordered uh, uh, double the amount this time because I really, really want to get a, a lot of quail. As you can see, they're drinking now. I put a little bit of rocks in the bottom of the water so they, could, uh, so they wouldn't drown. If they happen to fall in, they could get out easy. 
the feed is the same feed that I had for the, the meat chickens. I had a little bit left over, which would be plenty for these little fellows because they're, they won't eat much. So that's about it. And uh, we'll, we'll do another hatch off and we'll, I'll document it and film it and see how it does. And that's about it. Don't forget, please click on the little bell, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Homestead Hacks.